Welcome everybody, my name is David and this is Blue Line Garage. Behind me you will see a Polaris Ranger 1000 crew. All right, uh, I believe it's a 2017 and we're gonna be installing a winch on there. Now, here's the winch and all the stuff that it came with it. And I got it offline, I'll leave the link um, in the description below and probably a quick picture up here where I got it from. Uh, but it's, it's pretty much a no-name brand uh, type of winch, but you know what, um, they're still as good. Um, so what we're going to be doing is installing it in the front. Sometimes people do install them in the back. I already got the tires off because I changed the brakes on a different episode. So what I will be doing first is removing probably most likely this cover and the bumper. Well, probably this and kind of see how we mount it. Now, there is a lot of wiring um, involved in this. So for this installation, we don't care about any of the wiring. We just want to mount the winch itself first once the winch is mounted then we can start running all the wires that we want we know the length where everything goes we'll be installing the button i'm going to show you a nice easy way to melt the plastic and have the button fit in there nice and tight nice and smooth very professional looking so please bear with me this is my first time installing a winch uh, on an atv all my previous atvs already had winches on it so let's get to it All right, so we got the bumper grill off, which actually made access a lot easier. And now we have these plate platforms that we're gonna have to bolt on. And I'm assuming it's gonna be something of this sort, which I could already see it's not gonna work, but I'm gonna play around with it, uh, figure it out, and we're just gonna learn together and see if we get this on there. Okay, so pretty much I got all this stuff off and I retrofitted a winch bracket just like this. See, right here, there's a duplicate uh, to be mounted on this. So let me turn this upside down here. All right, and then this is gonna be mounted like that on the front grill. So imagine this, and now I'm gonna take this over to the front bumper grill thing right here. And and then I'm gonna weld it like so in here. And the line's gonna go through the front here. As you can see, it's the front bar here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just do a little tack here and here, and then I'm going to line everything up and make sure that it's, it's good to go before I do any permanent welding on there. So let me go ahead and do my tack welds on this and see how that goes. All right, so I ended up tack welding this in there, looking pretty good. And then I'm gonna mount this just like that. I'm gonna mount this up just like that. So right now I'm gonna bolt this on and then I'm gonna put it in place, make sure everything lines up, it's not in the way of anything. And if we're good to go, then I'm just gonna weld that nice and good, bolt that on permanently and then put it all back together and then we could work on the wiring after that. So let's put this thing on. 
Okay, so I ended up bolting the winch on and onto the bumper and it looks pretty good. Everything looks good back here. It's not hitting anything. Um, my wiring is able to get here pretty easy. I have another one right below this. Um, uh, the line will come out from out through here. And then what I'll do is this cover would go on like so. And then this would go right on top of that. And that's it, but so far we're looking good. So what I'm gonna end up doing is permanently welding that in place and start putting it all back together. And then the wiring is also gonna be another tricky part as well. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, this was the biggest uh, feat that we had, a, we had a beat. So it was looking good. It took some time, but we got it done. All right, so we're almost there. Um, I welded everything together, painted it all up so it doesn't rust, and uh, pretty solid. I already, I already lined it, everything up with this bracket here, and it looks good. It doesn't rub on anything, and uh, yeah, it's pretty solid, good to go. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is uh, bolt the bumper all back together, and then uh, put the cover here, put that bracket, and then put this rest of this piece in and then start wiring it up. Well, I'll probably wire it up with this piece gone because it's all open, so it makes it a lot easier. So let me knock that out, kind of show you what I'm doing with the wiring there. So stay tuned. So now it's time to mount the winch controller, which is right here. Um, here's an external uh, winch button, um, most likely for like a single seater ATV. I'm gonna remove these wires. Uh, what's best I like to do is I just take pictures with my phone so I know how to put these back. So I don't have to deal with these while I'm mounting this. And then plus I'm gonna eliminate this and put an actual control switch inside the ATV. But I'm actually going to mount this device right over here. So up top it actually says winch controller and this gets mounted. I can mount this right there and then run all the wires to it. Now the leads from the winch to the controller is not very long. As you can see, I, I extended one and it'll just make it to where the winch controller is. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So let me go ahead and take care of that, mount it up and show you how it looks. Okay, so I went ahead and ran the wires. The colored wires are supposed to be down here. Ran them actually in this tube. I didn't realize I had this to the last minute, so I, I redid it. And then I also zip tied it to the frame where it's out of view and it's not interfering with any of the plastic moldings that are going on. I got it coming this way and it's pretty solid and it'll stay down and it won't interfere with anything, including this too. Um, I ended up, I bolted this down um, just because, you know, it's an ATV, you got a lot of vibrations. I don't want it coming loose and flapping around, so I bolted everything down. I already tightened these wires down, so now next we have to connect the rest of the wires and get them inside and start hooking the rest of the line up. But so far, we're looking really good. Everything's, everything's flowing the way it needs to be. So let me show you what we need to do next. Okay, so I pretty much cleaned up all the wiring. Um, I got these, the battery cabling right here. This is a fuse box that I actually installed not too long ago. Um, connected that cable that goes to the switch in the front, tied it off up here, went through the dash, which you just saw a little bit ago. Comes out through here. Actually, let me walk on the other side. 
Now, I thought I had this switch, but I don't know where it went. I must have lost it, but I'm actually putting a custom uh, rocker switch, like one of these, um, for the winch. So the wiring's gonna come out, come out right here, and I'm gonna put the switch right here. Um, but this is the original switch, so I'm just gonna show you if it works. Um, so let's test it out. Let me turn it on. All right, let's see if it works. There you have it, that's the winch install. Like, subscribe, do it now. Catch you on the next one.